Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do this awesome makeup look. I had so much fun recording this video for you guys. I haven't sat down in this studio in so long and filmed, so I was like, hey, I really wanna film something fun and festive, even like a festival look for carnivals and like cool music. Like if you're going to a concert, this is really cool as well. I don't really know, but just have fun with makeup. So I wanna do something very, very, very different. So I came up with this look. So if you want to know how I got this awesome, glittery, colorful, playful look, just keep watching. So starting this look off, I don't know what I'm going for, but I know I want to do something festival and fun. I'm starting the eyes just in case because I don't want any fall on the skin. And as you can see, I'm breaking out a little bit, so bear with me. Okay, so what we're just going to do is we're going to prep the lids. I'm going to prep the lids with the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. This is a no-name brush, but it's kind of like this so we'll do the job so I'm just gonna prime the lids and when you're doing makeup with so much eyeshadow you always want to prime your lids so you don't want that shadow to crease so we're just dabbing it on just like so I don't want this to be like a 30 minute video 15 minute video long as so I'm just gonna do the eyes and then I'm gonna rush on the face because I have the same routine as always. I just wanted to stay here today and do something fun and festive. Since I haven't sat here and done a makeup tutorial in so long, I'm like wheezing. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to, not this one, this one. I'm going to set the eyes. So I'm just gonna take this powder. Use any powder that you have. You can use you can also use a eyeshadow for this, but I use this. Cause this is translucent powder and it's not gonna leave a color. So if you're gonna use a eyeshadow, make sure it's something that's not so like crazy. For a transition shade I have a few colors that I have on here. I have the Modern Renaissance palette, which is my favorite. I have my Z palette, which I created a bundle of like Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which is really nice. I also have, ooh, the new Kylie Valentine's Day kit and then the Kylie um, Royal Peach palette, which has some color in it. And then if I do reach out that I need more color, I have tons of other palettes. So for this look, you wanna grab stuff that's colorful and nice. I was thinking of doing something green for St. Patrick's Day, but I don't know if I'm going that route yet. I'm just gonna clean the brush a little bit because I have not cleaned my brushes in so long. So excuse the dirty brushes in this video. I just haven't had time to clean them, but you know. This is my all-time favorite shade from Anastasia. This is the burnt orange shade. This is a beautiful transition shade. It goes with everything to be honest with you, so I'm gonna grab that and just place it in the sockets of the eyeballs up here. And this brush that I'm using, it's like flat down like this. So it's not like a dome shape, if that makes sense. You grab this shade, double tap, and I'm just placing it in the sockets, the eyes on top. And I like using brushes like this is because it really gets it into the socket. Since I have eyelids that are kind of like, how do I say, chubby chubby, you wanna make sure you're closing your eyes when you're doing this so you see the placement of the eye and then always looking up at the mirror and then keep going. Because that way you can see your work before it's complete. Now this look that I'm looking for is something vibrant and different and very colorful. I've been trying to look at some pictures on Pinterest to give me some ideas of what to do. Honestly, I'm just gonna wing it because I've seen so much festival ideas and I didn't go out and run to the store and get some glitter and stuff like that, like little stars to glue on my face. But you can always add those pieces to this look. So I just wanted to do something fun and different. Getting ready for a huge snowstorm, which sucks, but you know what? It's gotta happen sometime. That's living in New York, guys. If you guys didn't check out my video for Cali, 
It was such an amazing trip. Honestly, the best trip I've ever taken in my life. As you can see, I don't really go out much, but it was so much fun. The environment, the people in Cali are so nice and vibrant and just so down and chill. I feel like that's kind of like New York, but New York people have like this guard up, like, I don't trust you type thing. And people in Cali are so nice. Like, they don't have that aura going on. I go into the Kylie Diary palette and I'm just going to grab the shade over here, which is in this corner, which is called Sweet Like Candy. And I'm gonna grab that shade and add it to the part right here. The pink. It's gonna go to the outer V area. I just feel like I always work with pinks in my channel and it's just every time I wanna do something colorful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add these pinks on top and then I'm gonna add the color on the bottom part of the eyeball. I have this dark shade from this palette right here. So the smaller, the better. We're gonna really cut this crease. On the center of the lids, lids, yes, the lids. I'm gonna take my concealer and just cut out that crease. So I'm just gonna really try to clean up the little thing here and just put a dot in there. So make sure you take a clean brush. I'm just going to carve this out. I want to use this one, which is a copper or this dark copper shade. Ooh, these both give me life. We'll use the copper one. We're going to use this shade right here. I feel like we have too much brick going on. So we're just adding that to the center of the lid to really make this eye look pop. We can prep the face and then we'll continue on the eyes later. So I'm just gonna grab my lotion first and I'm just gonna lotion up my face to give myself some life. You can grab any lotion that you want, but this is just for you prepping your skin. And I'm just going to press it down. I'm breaking out so bad. This is the first time I ever film without a mirror and I'm just like, where do I look? Also grab the Tatcha oil because I've been very dry and I just put it underneath my eyes because this is where I've been the driest. Just going to dab that in as well. Spray my face. For professional, I'm gonna put it on my nose right here. That's where I have my pores and then right here is where I have my pores as well. So I'm just going to push it in the skin. For foundation today, I wanted to go back to my Urban Decay Miter Waterproof Foundation in the shade 7. I'm just using a damp beauty blender and just pouncing this on my face. Now, you always want to remember you're getting your neck, but... If you guys are wondering, my top is from Fashion Nova. It's like one of my favorite online stores. I will put a coupon on the bottom for you guys so you guys can use it if you want to shop around their clothes are so affordable so cute and honestly like I've been obsessed like every time I get a package I try it on I'm like damn now I have to go back on the freaking website and they upload the website all the time so I'm just like on it 24 7 the only thing about Fashion Nova that I don't like is that you can't return the clothes but they'll give you a store credit if the clothes don't fit you well so that's pretty eh. It's like Forever 21 over here. I don't know if you guys don't have a Forever 21. I'm working on a new concealer. This is the Fit Me one. I was trying to see if it reminded me of the, like the NARS one, but it doesn't. So the, a dupe one for the NARS is the NYX. This one isn't, but I do like the wand for this because it's really big. I love concealers that have wands on it because it's better to actually use the product more easy and I'm just gonna cut this out a little bit so I'm just going to dab this as well this one's very creamy but with this one within a few hours it will show your dark circles so if you're looking for something full coverage this is not for you if you're looking for something that you need to just cover up your dark circles you don't wear a lot of much makeup if you're looking for something that's inexpensive then this is perfect for you but 
I'm not so in love with this product and on top of that my under eye I don't know what it is but my under eye is so sensitive it will sting a little bit so I had to put the foundation underneath my eye and then put the concealer and then to snatch my nose for contouring I'm using toffee in the shade 14 I love this foundation I honestly forgot how good it was until now Today, I wanted to do something different because obviously, come on. I know I look crazy right now because I'm laying this big, but don't make fun of me. But I wanted to use these lashes, and these are Amore by Coco Lashes. I am not using my all time favorite, which are the Social Eyes, because I wanted to do something different for you guys because I'm tired of using the same box, and you guys are like, really? The same freaking box? So, I love these. These are from Vixen. I have a whole bunch of them. Today I'm going to use these ones because they're more flustered and like, wow. And I never really stepped out of my comfort zone. So I finished the rest of my face off camera because I got this call. So, that being said, I just contoured my face and I don't know why I have this song freaking stuck in my head. I always keep thinking of bed sheets smell like you. I'm in love with your body. Alright, enough. All right, so now comes the fun part, which I'm really, really excited to do. So I'm gonna take this majestic green color and I'm gonna put it underneath the eyelids because again, I wanted to do something with a pop of color. So I'm gonna grab a small defined brush and I'm going to grab this color and just bang it out. I really, really, so far really like this look, but I feel like that's something I already have done. So now the fact we're doing some green underneath, it doesn't make me feel that bad. I said it but this shade is Aloha from Morphe so we're just really so the reason why I did my face on off camera because I literally have the same routine over and over again so it's like why bother even then I'm gonna grab my setting spray and just spritz my brush and I'm gonna go in with the Kylie diary palette one more time and I'm gonna grab this blue shade right here which is called make me blush this purple shade is life right now so different spritz the face with my mario budescu setting spray i like the cheeks with the glow kit in anastasia beverly hills i'm gonna take the two bottom shades in moonstone and tourmaline i believe these two right here Ooh. And bring it to the brow bone. Just really get it in there. Nose as well. I got this in Midnight Cowboy. This is a little glitter tube. I decided to use the glitter underneath my eyes and play around with it for the first time. And let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to basically put dots everywhere. And these little um, Urban Decay things, they come in different colors. So for lip today, we're gonna do a moisturizing lip balm. Ooh, this is by Jersey Shore Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna place this all over the lips. I'll use this one. This is the Metal in Hair. I've been using this one a lot too. So I think this is gonna just make the look come together. I'm just gonna put this in the center of the lip. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I've never really done anything with glitter on my channel. And honestly, I think it came out so gorgeous, so pretty. If you guys try this look out for St. Patrick's Day or even going to a festival with this cool look, tag me in all your photos. So much fun doing this look for you guys. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already because we can be part of a family together. I don't really think I have anything else much to say, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys.